My name is Luigi Ochien. I'm born in 1950. I worked in the Kalong Hospital with Dr. Ambrijoli as a driver. Sometime we moved with him to Kampala. I stand a witness that Dr. Ambrijoli was given power by God when he was still alive. What he was doing was just from God. If I give an example, that when the government was not in, the, the government was not uh, yet here in Kalongo, because during the war, the army came and just remained in Patong. And here, the rebels were the ones controlling. Ambujoli organized the people that can keep the family in the hospital without any problem. And he was praying for them. And nobody was hurt here. Though the government, though the government did not reach here yet. What I know very well, that it looks like a miracle. The Karmujong were disturbing us from here. People were sleeping in the mission. The rebel also was disturbing us here. People rushed to the mission. And we took some days without any help from the government. So Dr. Ambrijole called uh, the dri head of driver. That give me one driver to, ra the, to take the vehicle and bring the, 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 what, the army from uh, Patongo. At least to protect us from here. At least to protect us from here. But since there were no vehicles moving from Katongo to Kalongo, and the rebels were there and the Karmojong were there, all the drivers refused to go. Then Dr. Ambrijole called me, Luigi, you come. Can you go to, to Patongo to consult the people to come and help the family here? I said yes. And we went with Dr. Carlo. He gave me Dr. Carlo and one of the police officers. Reaching, we drove up to Patang. Reaching Patang, the army refused to welcome us. They said, you remain here, we are still in a meeting. And they took about three hours in the meeting, we were just there waiting. When they came, they asked me, how did you come here? I said, we're this land robber, we dropped. Is it true that you use that road? I said, yes. They asked me three times, is it true that you use this road, Kalon, Patan? You passed the bridge? I said, yes. Then they went to the meeting again. They said, you are not going today here. You will go tomorrow. I said, no, please, let us go. To, we, we want, we, they wanted us back today. Then around four in the evening, they said, you can go. But we learned when we were coming that there were landmines plant in the road and my car just stepped on the landmine but we did not get any problem because Ambrugel was there praying for us. And when they released us from there they said now you can go back because at that time you were moving through the landmine. Now we have removed them all. So when we are coming back we see the big holes there. They removed the landmine and we reported to Dr. Ambrigioli. He said, no, we go to the church, and he was praying for us in the church, including the witness, Dr. Uh, Dr. Carlo. He's still alive. I think he will also come. That one tells us that the power was given to Ambrigioli during uh, his life, because we would have been blown out by the landmine. So he observed it, he deserved it now. He deserved to be the only passion. We don't have any doubt. We are just waiting for his day. We are also praying for him. He's also praying for us. He loves us, we love him. Thank you.